Okay, we're going to be talking about composition of functions. In this problem, we have two functions, f and g. f is the blue line. g is the red line. Our first problem is to find f of g of 2. And what that means is we're going to find f with g of 2 inside it. Well, that has to be a number, otherwise it makes no sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to find g of 2. All right, let's look at g of 2. g of 2 is the y-coordinate when x equals 2. I go to x equals 2, and I look at what the y-coordinate of the red line is at x equals 2. The y-coordinate is 0, so g of 2 equals 0. That means I'm going to be looking for f of 0. Okay, now I go to x equals 0, and look at what the y-coordinate of the blue line is there. Here is x equals 0, and if you start at x equals 0, which is the center, and you go uh, up to the blue line, you see that the blue line is at y equals 1. So f of 0 is 1. And that's the answer to f of g of 2. The answer is 1. Okay, now we're going to be finding g of f of 1. That means f of 1 goes inside of g. which means we have to look at f of 1 first. I go to where x equals 1, and then I look at uh, where the blue line is at x equals 1. At x equals 1, the blue line is on the x-axis, which means that the y-coordinate is 0. So f of 1 equals 0. That means I put 0 inside g. g of 0 means that at x equals 0, I have to find what the y-coordinate of the g function, the red function, is. So I start at x equals 0, and I go down to here, to where g is negative 4. So the answer is negative 4. So g of f of 1 equals negative 4. Now, we are going to find f of f of negative 5, which I admit is pretty darn strange looking. However, we're going to proceed just like before. This f is on the outside, and this f is on the inside. So we'll be finding f of, <clears throat> excuse me, f of negative 5. So I need to find f of negative 5. I go to x equals negative 5, which is here. And then the blue line is f, so I go up to that point there, which is where x equals negative 5 for this graph, and the y-coordinate is 6. So I see that f of negative 5 is 6. So that means I'm going to put a 6 in for f of negative 5. So I'm going to be finding f of 6. I go to x equals 6, which is right here, and I go to the blue line right here, and I find what the y-coordinate is there at x equals 6 for the blue line, and it is negative 5. So f of 6 equals negative 5. That means f of f of negative 5 equals negative 5, but you have to actually find it out. Okay, follow those steps and you will understand this problem.
Talk to you later.